Well, here we go with our first battle report for our new YouTube channel for Age of Strife. Um, before we start though, I would like to just say a thank you to uh, Luke Barker of Striking Scorpion 82. His YouTube channel has been the inspiration that I needed to uh, finally go and do these battle reports that I've planned for so long, but um, just never got around to it. And uh, having seen his work, uh, I was inspired. So I, I, I would advise you guys to check out his channel and um, and subscribe. I think you, uh, if you haven't already, you probably a lot of you will know about them already. Him and James, his brother, they do some really good battle reports. So get yourself along there and subscribe to that. Um, yes. Yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so this is the battlefield for tonight's game. The uh, cultists built a temple to the chaos gods and uh, a warp rift opened, so uh, the Imperial Guard were were uh, tasked with the closing it, so they bombed the crap out of the area and uh, they've moved down onto the planet's surface now to make sure the job's done and all the demons are dead. And uh, that's where we're at at the moment. The so let's now go and have a look at the army lists. Okay, first up is our Imperial Guard army. As you can see, with quite a few flyers and tanks. So let's have a quick look. HQ, four flamers, astropath, plus one reserve rolls. Important for those flyers. Veterans, three plasma. Veterans, heavy flamer, auto cannon. Veterans, three flamer. Veterans, three melter. Then we've got a psycho battle squad for a bit of nonsense. Full squad, nine and an overseer. The transport is dedicated for the HQ. Two Punisher tanks, one of them Commander Pascus commandeered. He's got las cannon and multi melter sponsons on his. And then we last HQ choice is two Colossus. No cover saves from them bad boys. And fast attack, three vendettas with three twin the glass cannons and heavy bolter sponsons. So the demons will struggle with the flyers, that'll give us a slight advantage there. It's uh, insert and kill the demon prince, I think. That's our plan of attack. Kill him and the rest will fall. Okay, let's have a look at our Chaos Demon list next. It's um, predominantly red, corn, allegiance. Uh, I don't have any other models from the range, just corn or the standard choices. Uh, 30, two units of 15 flesh hounds. Um, these are the guys I painted for the battle uh, that you see in the painting tutorial recently. Uh, managed to get them knocked out in two nights and still go out for a meal. Two soul grinders uh, with phlegm bombardment each. That's basically a battle cannon. Um, five crushers with a herald of corn on a juggernaut to go with them. And then uh, three units of ten blood letters. Two of them have got the banner of blood, uh, giving them d6 plus six inch charge distance. And then uh, Bellicor. That's who I wanted to make sure was in the list first because I want to see if he is as overpowered as what people are saying. This will be the first time I've used him, so be a few mistakes, no doubt. But we'll see how we get on. Okay, so that's the Cursed Demon list. Let's have a look at deployment. Okay, the mission we rolled was the Emperor's Will, that's one objective each. Deployment layout, hammer and anvil, conveniently. So we fiddled it and put the demons at this end, because of the altar, and put their objective on it as well, because we want to close the rift. And then the Imperial Guard put theirs as far back as they could, and as high as they could, to keep away from all them flesh hounds. So uh, we'll roll the rest of the uh, battle set up, and then once we've got the... Um, Armies deployed will come back.
table is now set. Both armies are deployed. The Imperial Guard have uh, fell back and uh, right to the board edge and castled. They're even using the Psychers as a uh, bit of a meat shield for the tanks. If we look up the table, it's a bit of a uh, ominous sight. The Chaos Demons have deployed right up to the line and right across the board. Soul Grinders on one flank with the crushers and then the two units of dogs, one behind the other, across the rest of the board. And Bellacar at the back. And then reserves, we've got three flyers for the Imperial Guard with the veterans in and three units of bloodletters for the demons. So we've done our scout moves for the flesh hounds up to the halfway line and uh, now even closer to the Imperial Guard. <laughs> and then uh, initiative which they didn't get so turn one Okay, Imperial Guard movement. There wasn't a lot. We can't really go much further back. So, uh, shooting. Managed to cause some wounds on the uh, two dog units. We killed four from the front line and three from the back line. Um, but they are fearless. Well, they're, they're not fearless. But they don't suffer from... Uh, they don't take tests. And uh, so then we... Uh, there was no assaults for Imperial Guard, obviously. So we moved on with the... Uh, demons turn one movement so the dogs have moved up and Bellacor cast invisibility on the front unit so they are shrouded and stealth plus three cover save um, and the rest of the force is making a flanking action down the left hand side towards the objective and Bellacor's uh, running in behind the soul grinders um, for a bit of protection so that's the um, movement. Well, the demons decided not to shoot in the end. They all ran, but they didn't run very well. The dogs ran an inch, the uh, Bellicor ran an inch, the crushers ran an inch. And they, uh, the soul grinders moved a bit quicker, but not a great deal. Um, so no shooting. So it's over to Imperial Guard. Turn. Well, the next round of shooting from the Imperial Guard was rather unimpressive. We got two reserves on, two Vendettas, one with the Flamers and one with the Plasma on. Um, they fired and both, one of them uh, took two wounds off Bellicor. I thought he was going to die. The second one all hit and uh, Bellicor saved them all. Um, and the rest of the firing only brought down another couple of dogs, so not too impressive from the Guard there, but... Uh, over to the Chaos Demons, see what they can do in the next turn. Okay, Chaos got one of their reserves on. We're attempting to deep strike here. But they scatter. And they just avoid the mishap table. So the rest of the movement for Chaos Demons turn 2 is Crushers moving up dogs running through the crater into the ruin they're either going to take on the uh, guardsmen who are holding the objective there or alternatively the artillery at the back our other dogs have moved up ready for the assault on the psychers and the vendetta there is making them bunch up a little bit which is good news for the guard because uh, there's quite a few flames around so, Chaos Demon's shooting phase now. The Soul Grinders both fired at the Chimera, hoping to pop the command out of the transport, but scattered and only killed one Psyker. First casualty for the guard. The rest of the units ran. 
and the crushes with invisibility from Bellicor also ran one more inch. Bellicor has also run behind the building trying to get out of the way of those last cannons. And then the Chaos Demon Assault phase, as you can see the dogs have cleaned out the ruins of Guardsmen. They did quite well, 10 wounds, saved 5 of them, but filled their, their leadership and ran off and got caught. The Psychers also lost, they did well as well, but managed to uh, fail the morale check also, but got away this time. The dogs consolidated one inch. That's not very good, considering there's flamers all around them. So, we move on to turn three. Reserves. You buy an astropath thinking that you're going to get your reserves on. I know. You think it can't get any worse, but then you're going to immobilise your HQ transport as you're trying to move up with your flamers to do these dogs. Skimmer mode for the Vendetta. The other flamer units jumped out. Those dogs got to die now, surely. The other flyer moved up. Soul Grind is his target. Moving on to the shooting phase. Yes, the dogs are dead. The flamers killed four. I think the... Uh, Psych has killed another one, the Chimera didn't do anything, and Pass finished the rest, and the other Punisher killed a few blood letters. And the artillery fired, ignoring the uh, dogs in the ruins, fired at the crushers, causing two wounds, even though they were invisible, because there's no cover saves from that. Um, the dogs, though, now will probably get the arty next turn. And the Vendettas, both scored a penetrating hit on each soul grinder, one invulnerable saved and one cover saved, so no damage there. So, Chaos Demons turn 3, reserves scattered off the table and rolled back into reserve. Movement, soul grinders moved up, going to shoot the tanks, Bellicar move round, Still trying to avoid those vendettas. Cast invisibility onto the bloodletters in front of him. Crush has moved up. Still pushing hard for this objective of the guards in the ruin. The dogs also ready to pounce onto the artillery. Shooting phase. So the soul grind has fired at the Chimera, but didn't do any damage, but hit Pask in the process and did the glancing hit on him which he filled his 5 up save. The blood letters ran 1 inch and the others decided not to run. They were going to charge the artillery. So crushes into the artillery and the flesh hounds also going to charge the artillery. Let's see what happens in the assault phase. So as you can see the dogs have done a good job on the uh, artillery in the assault phase, blew one up and um, wrecked the other, damaged themselves as well, lost one dog from the explosion, but they're in a good position now to assault the tanks on the back line, Imperial Guard are really under pressure now, um, they haven't got their objective, although the demons haven't got theirs either. Um, they do have two units left to come on from reserve, and so do the guard. Are they going to turn up this time? Let's have a look.
it. <laughs> Must have got lost in fog or something. Anyway, Punisher has turned on the spot to uh, dr the, the de demons. The uh, Chimera can't move, it's immobilised. And the uh, other Punisher with Pasca has backed off a little bit. The veterans have jumped back in their vendetta. And uh, that's moved forward, ready to shoot the Soul Grinder again. The uh, other Vendetta has landed on top of the building next to Bellacor. Line of sight over the building at him. And Pask's also looking at him, thinking, who's that shady character in the back there? Maybe he is the man I need to be shooting. Okay, so Imperial Guard shooting turn four. Bellacore in the dead pile. Hooray! Warlord kill to the Imperial Guard. The Vendetta finished him off. Well, that's a moral victory, if nothing else. Okay, so the Punisher fired at the dogs, killed one dog. The Psycho Battle Squad, two Psychos, so strength, strength two template, only toughness three, so five's the wound, but only, only hit one and failed to wound, so nothing there. They would have been uh, invisible, like. The Vendetta fired at the Soul Grinder. Was an armament destroyed, so randomised that and ended up with the phlegm cannon, phlegm bombardment comes from his mouth, so that's why he's smoking. <laughs> and Pask fired at the other soul grinder but failed to penetrate. So Chaos Demons, turn four, one reserve on, which scattered. The Soul Grinder decided to move back towards the object, their own objective, just to give a bit of support. Well, the Soul Grinder pushed on with the crushers, and the dogs moved in for another assault on the tanks. So that's movement for the demons. It's all Coming on top. The blood letters are now in the ruins, moving up towards the objective. Okay, so a shooting phase for demons. Both soul grinders fired at the chimera, causing two glancing hits. This one managed to get a side shot. And the other one got a glancing with its harvester cannon. The blood letters opted to run towards the objective, and the crushers just stayed where they are because they're going to declare a charge, as are the dogs, obviously, going to try and pop some tanks. The blood letters in the ruin also ran up another level towards the objective, so that's the shooting phase over. Let's see what the results of the assaults were. Well, as expected, the vehicles uh, have taken the brunt of it. We've got a glancing hit on the Punisher, multiple assault from the dogs, and the camera is gone, last hull point taken away, so it's a wreck. And the guys have had to do an emergency disembarkation, so they've jumped out the front ready to flame them. The uh, crushers had a failed charge, they only rolled seven fleet, rolled it again, rolled seven again. So they're not doing anything this turn. That's the end of the assaults for turn four. Imperial Guard will be up next. It's um, still in the balance. There's uh, not a lot in it. The Guard are holding their own. They have got nothing though near their own objective. They really need to deal with these blood letters in the ruin. There's still some dogs left, they've been a menace this game. Hopefully the flames will see them off this turn. Pask still in the game, holding it all together. And uh, 
still looking for some reserves maybe well they're automatically on this turn so but it could be the last turn you really need to uh, get creative if we're going to get this one okay so the flyers are all on zooming up the table trying to take this objective from these letters they're going to shoot into these letters give them everything they've got hopefully it's enough and we need another turn we need another turn so that we can disembark and grab that objective the other guys have disembarked from the vendetta the vendetta is still in skimming mode he's uh, dropped down and he's going to unleash everything into those letters to try and stop them from taking the guard objective the other unit, the self veterans will either fire into the back of the soul grinder or the crushers all the letters, if there's some letters left are going to have to deal with them so let's see what the shooting phase brings Okay, so shooting phase, the dogs have all died to flamer and heavy boulder fire. Pask fired at the blood crushers, killing two of them. One of them was instantly killed with his last gun. Next there's a vendetta, fired into the ruins. Only killing two, so the veteran squad behind had to help they fired across killing all but one which is a shame because we would like to have killed the soul grinder who's probably going to go over and stick his power fist through the uh, side of that skimmer now and the two vendettas fired everything they had at the bud letters but failed to kill them all three still left they're probably going to make it onto the objective now. Okay, so Chaos Demons, turn 5. Chaos Demons reserves, move a scatter, which they did. The blood letters have landed on the other blood letters and have ended up back in reserve. Their reserves haven't been much better than the, than the guards. The um, letters move up. The soul grinder trying to cut off angles of approach to the objective is also moved up. The other soul grinders moving across as we thought to grab the skimmer and the crushers have fell back to deal with the veterans in the ruins there. So in the shooting phase the soul grinder causes two hull points on the vendetta and takes a last cannon from it and the other grinder fails to do anything the letters just run across trying to get as much cover as they can on the objective so just two assaults in the assault phase the 
crushers have moved into the ruins to take on the veterans. I don't see them having a problem there. And the soul grinder has grabbed all of the Pentetta's wing. One whole point left. I wonder if uh, he can survive this. It's an epic struggle. Let's see, shall we? Uh, that would be a no. <laughs> He's pulled it down into the ground and it's exploded. The crushers have dealt with the veterans and have started to move off towards the objective. But that's it for turn five. Let's see if there is a turn six. There's not a great deal left now. Pask still in there. Punisher. There's a blood letter in there. That's got line break for the demons at the moment. But that vendetta is not in the deployment zone for the demons, so no line break for the guard. Well, there's not a lot left, is there? It's been brutal. And we got Slay the Warlord. And there is no turn six, so that's the end of the game. Chaos Demons hold one objective, three points. They had first kill when they took the veteran squad off the objective for the guard. That's four points. They have line breaker there with the letter. That's five points. And the guard slay the warlord for a, mor a moral victory. If there'd only been a turn six, I'm sure we would have had it. But what an epic game. Hope you enjoyed it.